Joy from Joy Fitness 43, and today we're going to be doing a shoulder, ab, and leg workout. So what you're going to need for this workout is, um, I have a mat, because um, we're going to do abs on the floor, um, a couple weights. So we're going to be doing shoulders. So it depends on how strong you're feeling, if you want heavy weights or lighter weights. We're going to be doing three rounds of three exercises. So. Uh, you can start with heavy and then go to lighter. Um, I'm just starting with lighter because uh, I have other workouts I've already done today. Um, I also have a yoga block. So uh, you can do these exercises without height uh, or you can use a stair if you have a step at home, um, like a you know the thing that you would do a step workout on. Uh, something that is sturdy that you can um, put weight on that's not going to shift or move but make sure it's not going to do that so I wouldn't recommend like a pile of books or anything like that you have to make sure it's not going to go anywhere and it doesn't need to be real high you just want an offset that your whole foot can get on and then I also have a chair because just one of our exercises we're going to do in the arm workout first thing we're going to do is going to be a chair so you can use your couch you can use your uh, coffee table if you can sit on that or your uh, uh, you know a chair whatever kitchen chair but make sure that whatever it is it's safe and that you're not going to injure yourself by using it okay so always 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 think safety 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 before you use anything in your workout alrighty so first we're gonna start with our warm-up and remember, you can always pause me and change whatever you're doing uh, because you decide, whoops, that's not gonna work, uh, and do that, okay? So let's start with some reverse lunges and some arm swings. And so we're gonna do three uh, different sets of exercises and uh, for nine minutes. So three sets, uh, one, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition, and we're gonna do upper body, abs, and lower body today. So that's going to be our workout. And we're gonna concentrate on you know, shoulders, abs, and legs. So our legs are just gonna be kind of fun. Kind of like a Pilates workout for the legs, but we're gonna use that a little bit of a step to just make it a little bit you know, more challenging. So it should be a lot of fun. Why don't you change the timing on that? Because we're gonna use keep one leg and then the other leg. So it might not be three sets, three exercises. It'll be three exercises, but you might have to do just a little bit more. Just because I saw it, I thought, ooh, that looks like fun. We should do that. It's more exciting than boring squats or things that we've done a million times. So we'll do that instead. Okay, let's bring the heel to the high knee. Wake up the legs. Okay, speaking of squats, let's do some squats. Press down back. So how about around? Let's do that. Let's try to clap those hands behind you when we come up. Good. That was a big clap. Didn't mean to scare you. So when you're doing a squat, and I've mentioned this before, and I only mention it because I notice it myself. Really think about the alignment of your knees and make sure you're not bowing in at all. Sometimes we do it and we don't even notice that we're doing it. Bring that knee up. And I've been noticing that my left knee wants to bow in. And if you don't catch yourself doing it, you start making it a real bad habit. And then all of a sudden you're thinking, why does my back hurt? 
or why does my knee or my ankle or whatever hurt because you're using poor form when you're doing your exercise. So we want to make sure that we always try our best to do really good form when we're doing our workout. It's always better to do few, we're gonna just bump side to side, fewer reps, better form than to try to speed through with tons of reps and really no form, okay? Okay, big circle, round and round. Okay, bend the knees a little bit too, don't have locked out legs. So I was doing that and I thought, ah, that doesn't feel right. Okay, let's go the other way. Reverse. Okay, so I'm going to cross my leg over and I'm going to do some little side bends here. Just really need to warm up core a little bit more. Okay, let's go to the other side. Warm up that core. Okay, now we're going to do shoulders a little bit more here because we're going to work on those. And do, do. So we might throw a finisher at Colin at the very end, depending on how we feel about time. All right, so that's it right there. So we're going to get ourselves ready. I'm going to get this right here just because we only need it for one exercise and we're going to start um, with our arms first. Okay, so we're going to start with like, a, it's not called a halo, it's called, it's like an around the world. So I want you to think about um, Weights are going to be out. Roll the shoulders down and back. We're going to bend the elbows. Soft knees, okay? And we're going to bring it around. Okay, so around the world. So this one, you're, you're thinking, you, you don't want to have a ton of weight when you're doing this unless you know you can make that circle beautiful. You don't want to be bending your arms and doing this, okay? I need a big circle so you can feel that through those shoulders. Arms are a tiny bit bent, you know, that elbow's a little bit bent. And I want you to make sure that you bring them all the way out to the sides. Way to go. Big motion here with those arms. Okay, so now we're gonna sit. And we're gonna bend over, my knees are together. I'm gonna bend my elbows. And I'm gonna, almost gonna come in front of me. I'm not gonna come straight out to the side like a lateral raise. I'm gonna come out in front just a tiny bit. Okay, so this would be lateral and this is out in front, just a little bit. Almost like um, my head is the middle of a W. Okay, so not a V though. So be careful not to bring them too far in front. Good. Keep going. All right, so now we're gonna bring the weight you can do this with one or two, depending on how heavy your weights are. We're gonna bring them up, and we're gonna just spin them around the head. So, not like, we're just gonna make a little circle around here. We're not taking it down around the neck, like we do when we do the halo. So this really looks more like a halo than the other one does, but it's just a little rotation right around the crown of the head. 
you gotta use your wrists whoo, in this too. Try not to let your weight slide like mine just did. And round and round you go. Maybe less, maybe less wrist, Joy. More shoulder, less wrist. There we go. All right, now we're gonna start all over again. So, because we only have those three exercises, so we're gonna start with the Around the World. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, here we go, up and around. Soft knees. Not in a huge rush, because I want to get your shoulder burning. And the way we do that, as we slow the exercise down, we don't speed it up. Because when you speed things up, you might also use really bad form. Breathe. Good, okay, we're gonna take that uh, seat. Bring the weights down, weights down. I'm gonna make a little W. Out we go. So, so there's tons of different exercises to work your shoulders. So I just picked three um, that we haven't done a lot of, okay? You know, there's front raises, there's lateral raises, um, there's L raises, there's, um, you know, push-ups, there's the band, different band ones. I think we just did some with the band the other day. The bow and arrow. So I chose three that I thought, mm, I don't think we've done these a lot. So I wanted to make sure we had a variety going on here of different ones that we could use. And of course, if you wanted to do nothing but shoulders, you could always do six to nine different exercises and just do a day of shoulders. You don't have to do total body every day. I like to do total body every day because I, I'm not doing heavy weights. If I was doing heavy weights, I would probably do shoulders and abs one day, biceps, back and biceps one day, chest and triceps one day, and <clears throat> legs a couple different, different ways a couple different days lot in a row, stick them in between the uh, upper body. And then do I like to do abs a little bit every day, just a little bit of abs every day. You can always stick planks in between every set if you wanted to, just to um, add something to your workout. Do, a, we could do, maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. I've been thinking. Let's have that be what we add to this workout. So after this, let's hold a one minute break. Okay? Sounds like fun. So we get extra abs before we do our ab workout. Because everyone's always like, oh, I need to work on my tummy more. Do it. Let's work on our abs a little bit more. But really, where do we work on our abs? In the kitchen. So I try to decrease sugar in my diet. The way I want to eat, you know, when you're married, it's tough to eat a certain way when you're married and other people have different dietary needs than you do. So 
So sometimes you just have to learn to eat less, um, eat certain things, not indulge in other things like sugar. So I just try to be good about those things. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep is so important. Sleeping. Someone says, oh, maybe I need to spend more time in the gym. Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to just do a good workout every three days and then take a 30 to 60 minute leisurely walk as often as possible, six days a week. And that would probably be really good for you too. Yep, I think so. Good job. Okay, almost done with this set. So this is the last exercise in the upper body. And so after you have done this, and you wait like a day or two, and you decide, hmm, I don't feel anything in my shoulders, or wow, I feel it in my shoulders. Then you judge by how much weight you had. Maybe you needed more weight, maybe you needed less weight. All right, that's how you judge. While you're doing it, you can't necessarily always tell, of course, unless you just can't lift it and your form is terrible. All right, so we're gonna put that down. Get yourself a quick drink of water. And I am going to um, put this into a one minute plank. Let's see what this is on. It's on five minutes. And there we go. Are we ready? So I like to do it on my elbows. You can do it up here if you want to, but I use my wrists enough. So I'm going to actually fold my mat over and bring my feet out. So if you're going to do it modified, then I want you to do it with bent knees that are slanted, not up here. Okay. Um, this will work. You're just going at it backwards. Um, this is better so that you are coming forward. So don't move your elbows from here. Just just lean forward, okay? Notice my elbows did not move. Otherwise, I want you all the way out. And you can come down, you can take a break. Put a knee down. Okay, ready, set, and we're going. And we try not to drop our head. We try not to lift our tush, okay? When we're, when we're here, we try not to sink into our shoulders. So think about broadening your back. Pulling up through your abs, being strong through your legs for this whole thing, okay? Breathe. Just close your eyes, relax. Put a knee down if you have to. Take a few breaths. Bring that knee back up. And breathe. We're almost there. And time. All right, so that wasn't too bad, right? Good job. Okay, so now we're actually gonna do abs. So I don't need this chair anymore. So I'm gonna move it to the side. Let me move this. Um, we're gonna use one weight one exercise during our ab workout. So we're gonna roll ourselves back onto the floor. Now if you want, don't wanna get down on the floor, then you're welcome to stand. So let me show you three standing. So those of you on the floor, you can just stay there. Okay, so this is what it looks like standing. So standing, first one we're gonna do is a bicycle. Okay, so this is what you can do standing for the bicycle like this. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna bring both knees in and tap underneath us, okay? So you're gonna bring one knee up and you're gonna tap underneath it. We're gonna bring both knees around and tap, but you can't do that. So you're gonna bring one knee up and tap underneath it. 
okay? And then our last one is um, a sit-up where we have the weight and we're gonna do a sit-up. And so you're gonna do a crunch, okay? So you're gonna hold the weight, blow out, come back in, come up, blow out, come back in. So you're gonna crunch it, you're gonna round your back, pull the belly in, come back up, nice and tall, arc that back just a little bit, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so those are your three standing if you don't wanna get down on the ground. Alrighty, otherwise, we're gonna go ahead, come down on the ground, and we're gonna do these on the floor. So, hands down to your side, nice flat palms. We're gonna leave our head down, and we're gonna push the knees away from it just a little bit, so not here. Push them right here so they're straight from our thighs, okay? And we're gonna bring them in and out. And you're gonna look up at the ceiling, nod at your knees. Chin's gonna be parallel to the floor. And you're gonna try not to bring your knees all the way back into you, okay? We're gonna try to stop it right where it's parallel. And boy, you're gonna feel it right away. Push down on this belly. That head down. All right, good. All right, so we're gonna bring our arms behind us. We're gonna start with our legs down, okay? Arms behind us. Woo. Bring our knees up, okay? Tap, touch the heels. Back down. Tap, touch the heels. So we bring ourselves in all the way out. Notice I do a little head lift along with a little shoulder lift. And if you're standing, you went from standing bicycle to alternating, bringing a knee up and clapping under that knee, alternating sides. So it pretty much looks like this, but alternating one leg at a time. And your arms are going up and down and you're tapping under the knee. All right, so now we're gonna grab our weight. You're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna hold the weight right here, okay? We're just gonna leave it above the chest and we're just gonna do a sit up. We're not gonna bring it from behind our head. We're just gonna bring it here. Roll back down, round, round back down, round up, round back down round up, round back down, round up, round back down. And why do we want to round? Because we don't want it to just come from our hips. We want it to come from our abs. So we don't want to ignite those hip flexors, okay? We want to use that belly. And of course, if you're standing, you're doing a standing crunch, weights at the chest. Remember, you're gonna arc that back just a little bit. Round the back, pull in the belly button. Okay, here we are again, hands flat, knees are up. And we're gonna go ahead and do alternating back and forth. Good, back and forth. Plank's gonna hurt after this one. Whew. can feel it already. As much as I don't want to feel it in my hip flexors, right here, I already do. And I'm trying to keep my hands flat. You know, if it hurts really bad, you can tuck your hands underneath, and that kind of helps a little bit, you know? If you get those hips up just a little bit higher, you can take a pillow, and put it like right under your tailbone, and then that helps a little bit too. Ooh, I'm like really bringing my knees in. Cheating, Joy, cheating. Okay, legs all the way out, arms all the way out. Okay, we're gonna tap the heels, 
If you're standing, you're gonna tap under a leg, alternating each side, bringing that knee up. Good. Remember, it's not a race. How fast can we go? Let's see if I can leave my legs out this time instead of tapping the floor. I was kind of tapping the floor last time. I'm gonna just stretch them out. That would probably look better, don't you think? If I just left them out here instead of went down. Breathing. It feels good. All right, last one. And we're gonna do that sit up. So, so if you're on the floor and you don't want to do a sit up, you're like, oh, this hurts, then just do a crunch. Just a little crunch like this, okay? Otherwise, I need you up. Round the back, come up, round the back down. The only thing I don't like about this is I got a crease in my <laughs> workout pants and I can feel it as I go up and down. I'm like, well, that's uncomfortable. That's going to leave a mark. Okay, don't forget, standing crunch. I guess this is why standing crunch would be better, right? <laughs> All right, last set. Okay, i make myself presentable. Uh, knees up, hands flat, push the knees away. Okay, always make yourself happy before you start. Make sure your back is where it needs to be, your neck is where it needs to be. Remember, we're looking at the ceiling, not at your knees. Because if you look at your knees, then you're probably tilting your chin down. And we don't want to tilt your chin down because then it's going to drop your airway. I don't want to be able to breathe. I don't want it to be a struggle. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to extend all the way out. Last two exercises. Tap the heels. Extend. Tap. Extend. Tap. How pretty can you make it, right? try your hardest to make each one look great. So maybe you messed up on the last one. So you want to make this next one look really good. Feel really good. So that you can help your body feel as good as possible. All right, last set for abs. Here we go. Up and curl back down. Curl. Curl back down. Curling up. Curling down. Curling up. Curling down. Curling up. Curling down. Good job. And we're just really enjoying this little bit of exercise because we know it's our last set. And we're not dropping the weight behind our back because then that would be giving us momentum. All right, let's do our one minute plank.
get yourself a glass of water or a little drink. Maybe not a whole glass. That would not be good. Alrighty, so I'm going to set the timer. Okay. On the elbows, four on the hands, it's up to you. On the knees, or all the way up. Let's go. Breathing, taking your time. So maybe you're, you don't wanna do the planks on the floor, so you can do the plank on the counter, um, you know, on the edge of your couch, uh, someplace where you have a solid surface that's not going to, um, you know, move away from you. So remember, you can modify those planks too. On the wall, wall planks are good. Almost there. All right, and that's our time. Okay, now we have one set of exercises to do left, and it's our legs. So I'm going to rearrange my timer and I'm going to I'm going to take the workout time down a little bit and I'm going to take how many sets we do up so let's see we have three exercises and it's going to be a bit So we're only gonna do 30 seconds on each side, okay? Because we have to do each side. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do each side. And then we're going to um, just keep repeating it. Okay, because I wanna be able to get three sets in. Okay, so we're gonna start. Remember, you don't have to have your foot on this. Uh, so we're gonna start with just an offset squat. 30 seconds of an offset squat. So one foot's up, one foot's down. So I have a yoga block. You can use the step going upstairs or outside, or you can just do a squat, okay? You can put your toe up like this. If you don't have a step, then you can put your heel up, okay? It's gonna do the same thing. I had a yoga block and I thought, huh, I think I'll do this yoga block. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna do it on the other side. Are you ready? Let's do it again. Okay, here we go, down and up. So what does this do? Um, being offset is gonna make you work one side a little bit different than the other side. Your load is gonna be different, so you'll feel it as you go down and up. Make sure your weight is still in your heel, okay? Don't let it transfer out to your toes. So my feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Now I'm gonna go back. Now, sorry, make sure yours didn't do that. Now my feet are gonna be closer together, okay? So I'm gonna start with closer together feet. So I'm gonna go down, okay? And I'm gonna come up, down, come up. So be real careful that your, whatever you're stepping on isn't going to move. So of course, if you're on the floor, you're just gonna squat and come up with that leg up. Good. And again, it's just going to offset that squat. Just work your leg a little differently. Okay, so now I'm going to go here. Same thing. You're just going to squat, a narrow shoulder width apart squat with a side leg raise. Breathing. 
girl. We have plenty of time to transition in between each set. We're gonna get plenty of sets in. Worry about that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. We're gonna start with the narrow, then we're gonna go out to wide. And again, you can do it this way. I'll, I'll start, I'll do it on, then I'll do it off. Okay, so we're gonna go here, step out here, here, here. Okay, otherwise, you can do here, toe up, out. And again, this is if you don't have a block, you're just gonna lift that heel up and go up and down. Okay, very good. So let's just keep going. So you have your two variations. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side. So those are our three exercises. And we're just gonna keep repeating them over and over again until it tells us we're done. forth. All right, now we're going to start all over again with our offset squat, okay? All we're doing is coming up and down, that little bit of a wider squat. Are you ready? Down and up. So we don't have to worry about moving. We can just concentrate on getting down as low as possible, coming up and squeezing the tush, squeezing the quad when we come back up, okay? How low can we squat on that inside leg? Okay, now trading sides, making sure your foot is happy, a little bit wider for shoulder width apart. Again, squeeze. Notice I'm pushing out so I can squeeze just a little bit. And I'm squeezing my quads so that I can get every bit of oomph out of this move. Now, where are you concentrating your squat? Are you concentrating on your outside leg? or on that toe up leg or the leg that's on that riser. Okay, squat with the leg lift. Okay, bring that leg in a little bit closer. So we squat, okay, leg lift up. Now, be real careful. We wanna make sure that we're nice and balanced on our step. So if you're using a step that maybe has a railing and you need to hold on to it, Touch it a little bit, that's fine. Or even if you're on your toe and you need to grab that chair and you need to hold onto that chair just a tiny bit, that's fine. Tap it, don't death grip it. You never wanna to have to hold on that tight that you're gonna push the chair away from you. Okay, are we ready? Go. Where is the concentration of weight? Are you leaning to the outside? Are you putting weight on both heels? Are you leaning in? Are you feeling it in the tush or in the quad? Huh? When you bring your leg up, you feel it on that inside thigh? You should. Good job. All right, 
Now, inside, outside. Remember, two squats here. It's almost like a little press up so that you can get it to the outside so you get that little extra on this one too. Okay, so we squat, bring it out, squat, bring it in, squat. That's it. Now you're used to it. What can you bring to it now? So a little extra energy, a little further down, feeling that squat all the way through the heel. Okay, it's changing size. Start with narrow. Low. I gotta go down lower. I'm getting the same results on each side. If you're on your toe, is that toe getting tired? Is that bottom of that foot aching from all the up and down squats you're doing? Okay, starting over. Okay, okay you need to give that foot a rest and just go up and down this time. It's okay, you do that. Okay, here we go, down and up. Squeeze, squeeze, down we go. Up, weights in the heels. These are our last sets of exercises. Then we have one more plank, then we're gonna stretch, and done. Okay, good job. I'm ready, you ready? I'm ready. Whew, this side. It's tired. Uh, okay. I can do it. Gotta get those legs done. Okay, two more exercises. Are you ready? Up we go. Bring that side leg out. I kind of like this one. This is a fun one. Pop yourself up. So squat up, out to the side. This is your like your ballerina one. Again, if you're tired of being on your toe, then give yourself a break. Let that foot be flat and just do that squat. But get that side leg raised up if you need to hold on to the back of the chair when you do this that's fine too lightly hold on okay <coughs> balance only for balance it's not gonna make it easier it's just gonna keep you safe as long as you do it safe you can't push on the chair Okay, I'm so excited to do one more exercise after this. Okay, doing good all the way up. Get that leg out there, swing it out. That's it, little pointy toe. Pointy toe, kick it out there. Get that inside thigh. Okay, last exercise. Narrow to wide, pop yourself up, get it in that of the other leg, okay? That's why you don't need a big step. I should have any kind of knee issue. Up, out. You want it to be a nice experience. That's why we're not doing this on the chair, right? I'm lifting up. You have young enough knees that can 
didn't want to do, which I suppose you could, but I don't recommend it. Because you want to have those knees, well, when you're my age and older, that decline is real. So you gotta protect everything. Okay, last exercise. Must work muscle. Muscle, muscle exercises. Cardio is great, but I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm working cardio at the same time. Cardio is for your heart, okay? For your heart. That's why you do cardio. Don't do cardio to lose weight. Cardio is for your heart and your lungs. To lose weight, you lift weights. You change your metabolism. You get muscle. Muscle burns more calories on a daily basis. Cardio is for your heart and your lungs. Notice the difference between those two. Okay, all right. Ready for that one minute plank? And then we'll cool down. I'm ready. Okay, out we go, and out. I'm ready, I'm holding it. I'm not thinking, I'm just doing, breathing. Think about lifting my belly button, thinking about being broad in my back, lifting my head up, just relaxing in my feet. Face is nice and relaxed. My jaw is clenched. I'm just taking nice deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. My hands are relaxed. Relaxing my legs. Just being strong through my core. We about 10 seconds left. Breathe for me. Almost there. And time. <sighs> All right. Get yourself a drink of water. And let's get ourselves ready to cool down. And let me change this to a five minute cool down. And we're just gonna stand up. Let's stand up for that cool down. All right, big breath in. <sighs> Feels good. Inhale, exhale, grab those fingers behind you. Okay, chin and chest up. Now think about pressing those shoulders down, lifting the chest up, lifting the chin up just a little bit. Don't drop your head behind you, okay? Okay, inhale, exhale, release the arms. Intersect those fingers, oh, and relax. Pull the belly button in this time. Press the hands out, drop the chin a little bit, but don't smash it against your chest. Big rest in your back. Inhale, exhale, lift your arms up. Make sure your knees stay soft though. Don't smash them back. Okay, nice soft knees. Lifting the chin up, but don't drop the head back. You don't need to bring those arms all the way parallel with your ears. Inhale, exhale. Bring the arms back. Interlace those fingers. Roll the shoulders down the back. And let's go ahead and do a little back bend. Ah, taking that back back. Opening up the chin and the chest. Inhale, exhale, slide the hands down your chest. All the way down to the feet, up the front of the legs, all the way up the body. Perfect, all the way out to the sides. Let's bring that left arm across. Good, keep those knees soft. Excellent. Inhale, exhale, up and over. Tap that uh, elbow down. Palm of your hand. Touch it here, okay? And now we're gonna do a side bend. So I'm gonna cross the opposite leg over and I'm gonna do a little side bend. Nice big breaths, open that chest. Inhale, 
inhale, exhale, bring yourself back up, uncross that leg. Oop, don't do that. Ah, oh, good job. Okay, other arm across. I'm gonna take this off. There we go. Good, soft knees. Good, arm up and over, back of the hand touches the back. Bring the other one over, grab that elbow, press it back. Okay, other leg's gonna go across. And another side bend. Good job, nice side bend. Big breaths. Okay, inhale, exhale, ooh, bring it back up. Release those arms, okay, unfold those legs. Open those legs up, big circle around. Okay, let's go the other way. Two big circles around. Excellent. Let's go ahead, take those feet out like a ballerina. Take yourselves down, hands on knees. Try to sit up nice and tall. Good, inhale, exhale, slowly bring yourself up. Walk those feet back forward. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take yourself forward, hands slide down just to below the knees. Hold on to the shins, nice flat back. Chin and chest, looking out front. Good job, bend the knees a little bit. Inhale, exhale, round the back, roll yourself back up. Oh, big shoulders all the way up, let's take. One leg back, press the heel to the floor, lean into the opposite leg. Good job, let's turn that back foot out. Bring the same arm back, lift the other arm up, leaning back. That's right, your hand is on your hamstring. And then bringing it forward. Let's turn ourselves around, stand back up. Let's take the other leg back. Both toes are facing forward, okay? Don't do this hip shift. I need both hips facing forward. Square, square those hips. Press the heel to the floor. Straight leg, bent leg. Okay, now we're gonna turn the foot. Bring the same arm back, touch the hamstring, lift the arm up, nice little rotation back. A little back bend, looking up at the ceiling, inhale, exhale, bring it back, turn the leg back, walk yourself back up, big breath in. All right, this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43, exhale. Thank you for being here with me today. Hope you enjoy the workout. I will see you next time. Now we work out, have a great day. Talk to you next time.